you know part of the word crossing again you know just you know do to go with the lesson but uh, we will i will try to cover like you know you know master data all the master data elements all the inventory management related aspects right and also the inventory valuation approaches uh, like moving average price and standard cost uh, because these these will have impact on how you are you know estimating the standard cost and the, uh, how you are evaluating your you know materials and all that we will understand there right and uh, part of the product development cycle you know there is something called uh, base planning objective necessary right so which means like you now if you are if you are going to use a new product development so that you know that product development cycle how sap product costing supports the you know new product development cycle we will try to see that and uh, you know this is the base planning object and apart from the base planning object for example you know there may be situations where you may estimate standard cost you now where you don't have any components which means like you now there is no bill of materials and routings like that and then you know that is what the standard cost estimation without context structure we will look into that and then uh, you know there is like you know bill of materials you know we'll see that part of the master data uh, bill of materials and routings and how they are impacting your overall um, in uh, overall um, in product cost estimation and then uh, we will use uh, you know automation tool uh, which is the costing run like like payment run you know the costing run Mm -hmm. will help you to you know run the per costing for or like you no know, standard costing for large number of materials and you know wide number of uh, plants that you can take and run them and you know the levels standard cost levels that you can do so all that you know so the nice tool sap provides for the you know standard cost um, you know costing run and that tool that we will see here right and then uh, we will also go into like you know there are other areas like you know overhead cost calculation you know sheet like you no know, overhead sheet we call you know costing sheet right so we will look in the costing sheet you know how the costing sheet is impacting our overall you know standard cost estimation and then we will look into the mixed costing there is a, a process called mixed costing we will look into that and also we will look into the you know costing with subcontract Thing materials like right now when you are having a subcontraction uh, contracting activities and or you know with the external operations you know how the standard cost happens and then all this like up to here you know I mean this this forms the base and then you know this forms like you know types of different types of like you know standard cost estimation and then you are going into the production like you know real production you know different types of production and all that you know you will you know see that right. and then um, you know after that uh, pretty much we will go you see like you know production order and cost collectors that we will see you know there are like you no know, discrete manufacturing uh, repetitive manufacturing and process industries mm -hmm. so all these different types of uh, uh, manufacturing scenarios are there right so we will look into that like you no know, as you mentioned like you no know, sales order costing right so that is one kind of you know uh, main type of uh, manufacturing right but you know there are wide range of uh, you know standard costing uh, you know types of uh, you know sorry sort of types of productions are there right that we will see and also that you know execution of the production like you no know, we will produce and see how it is produced right and we will you know do the order analysis like once you produce like how the you know analytical portion of the order is looks like right and then uh, overhead calculations that we will do right and then uh, uh, you know we will also see uh, so this overhead calculation is part of your you know month end closing activity mm -hmm. right and then we'll see like you now how the work in process why do we need work in process how the work in process is going to uh, impact overall um, you know the valuation of your uh, you know balance sheet items when when something is not completely produced and there is a whole you know theory around variances or uh, there are a lot of variance categories and you know variances input price variance output price variance quantity variances input quantity output quantity like that there are different mixed price variances there are different types of variances are there right so we will see that uh, variances and also we will settle the variance into accounting obviously right you know because that is a variance you know that you are setting into the accounting certainly same time hello 
you know, same time you can also take that uh, variance and you know set it to copa also right so that is also you will do mm -hmm. and then you know you we talked about the material ledger you know in in, in an introduction and how the material ledger is integrated with this you know I mean see it conceptually how it is there and all that I will you know try to cover and um, you know costing reports any other reports which are there and you know COPC integration with other models so this is a pretty exhaustive list you know, uh, meaning you know, that I'm going to cover right so do you have any questions here you know before we mm -hmm. jump start so where, where, where we can I mean, uh, where we can go uh, with the uh, Product cost by uh, product order or uh, sorry, product cost by order or sales order or something. Yeah, so this is a part of like you know production orders, cost collectors, and different oh, okay. order analysis. Now this oh, okay. is a, you know, part of that particular thing. Right? Okay. Good. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'll you know we'll give you the conceptual, uh, I mean, uh, understanding, and then there is the. Uh, there is something called result analysis key, right? Mm -hmm. So which uh, which is calculated, you know, for your working process, and if it is a sales order, you know, and then you, you have, um, you know, results analysis there also you can do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, all that uh, um, I'll cover part of your entire curriculum. So basically, you know, this entire course combines two courses, mm -hmm. which uh, SAP gives, right? So normally, like uh, product cost planning and product cost uh, cost subject controlling, right? So these mm -hmm. are the two things. Product cost running is pretty much like you know the standard cost estimation portion, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, cost subject controlling is more of like your uh, what you call your you know types of production and product process orders, mm -hmm. production orders, and you know cost. So pretty much you know you I mean cost collectors and repetitive manufacturing scenarios like that. Mm -hmm. okay. 